Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Thanks for coming over and watching us do a review today. We hope you're enjoying a dram as well. Today we're gonna to be doing a review of Johnny Walker Gold Reserve. God, that's a great sound. Um, this blend is a blend of over 40 different whiskeys and uh, grain whiskeys and regular whiskeys. Um, Highlands, space sides, so it should have all those typical characteristics. Yeah, I gotta be even that are gonna be in it. So we're curious to give this one a try. The going price for it right now is sixty five. Yeah, it's like sixty four ninety five. Sixty four. I thought I got it on sale, but I did not. You did not. They mismarked it. But yeah, I still never tried it. So it's worth having. Um, we are fans of the Johnny Walker blended whiskeys. They do a great job of it. It is, I've never had a bad Johnny Walker, no. except for the red. And it's not bad, it's just... Bottom plain. shelf. Yeah, it's plain. So when you start getting up the black, double black, green, probably gold, and the blue, it's just a lot more quality spirits that go into it in a little more time, I think. So, yeah, let's give her a whirl. And there's some, uh, well, they got a mix of everything. Mm -hmm. Speyside, Highland, some yeah. malt or some peat. Yeah, and some grain whiskeys in there as well. Like most of the Johnny Walkers, I think they, they do add the E150A, the <clears throat> caramel color in there to get oh, that they? color. Yeah. A lot of them do. I wish they wouldn't, but it would be much clearer, um, clearer, lighter whiskey. It is, this is a fresh glass. It hasn't had any whiskey in it. And it is very slow mm -hmm. for legs. Yeah. Are you seeing the same yeah. thing? I rolled my so, around a couple times now, yeah. so it's getting faster, but for sure the first one. So when the legs are slow, that indicates somewhat oily. So it may linger on the palate a little bit, which I enjoy a lot more when they linger. And there's no the age statement on this one either, so we have no idea right. how old or young. That is true. It's got a good nose. It does. Fruity. Fruity, yep, absolutely. Fruity, light. It's not... I get a little, no I get a little real, peat. Yeah. No real heavy alcohol. It's 80 proof. No real heavy alcohol burn on the nose. No. I get like almost honey, like a sweetness like that. I could see that, yeah. Yeah. Folks out there watching, have you had Johnny Walker? And if you have, what's one of your favorites? Have you had many of them? We literally have dogs on the other side of the camera. And of course, they decide to be noisy. <clears throat> I don't think they have a choice. Can't breathe very well with their flat it's true. faces. true, bulldogs, that's true. Yeah, <clears throat> fruit, honey, real uh, light. Yes. Light whiskey. Kind of like the green label. Yeah, it is. I'm wondering. I feel like with this, I get a little more. A little more. I didn't get any peat on that one. This one, I got on a little bit green. of smokiness, yeah. Just a little. Do you think the green is a higher alcohol content? And it's 15 years. It's 15 years. It's a little cheaper than this as far as price, but... The green is... Yeah, it's 15. 15 years, and the ABV is... I don't want to sneeze. I can't find it that <laughs> quick. Should be around the front, right? Man. Probably should get some glasses. Yeah, maybe we should. No, it's not on the front. Turn around. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right there. Like I said, around 86. The front. 86 ABV. Mm. So it's 43 so, proof? Yeah. Man, boy, we're really showing our. 
age when we can't read that. I should have got my spectacles. Well, they had it. It was weird font. Yeah, it was. You couldn't see it was translucent. Yeah, they made it blurry on purpose. So it is a higher proof, okay. which I could pick it up when I drank some. It yeah. was more of a punch to it. So a little bit of honey. I get a little, yep. That fruit. Green fruit. Green fresh fruit. fruit. Fresh. Yeah. No alcohol on the nose. Uh-uh. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mm. There's a little okay. smoke in there. Yep. There's a little smoke. Yep. I get like caramel. Got a lot of sweetness on the in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of that fruity grain. The grain whiskey. Mm -hmm. The smoke yeah, from smoke those, for sure. those uh, the end. peated whiskeys. You mm -hmm. can detect them in there more than the green label. No, for, yeah, totally. Much more. And the green label comparative has more of an alcohol punch, which would make sense at an 80 proof or the other one being a higher proof. But it is pretty coating too. Mm -hmm. Oily. Yeah, I can still taste it. And it's uh, yeah, that peat's good. lingering. Mm -hmm. So I would say whatever the uh, peat varieties they have in there, Kalila or whatever it is, Talisker. That says it on the box. It's, I can't remember. Um, I would say the they're islands. Kleinish, Blair Atoll. Atoll. Yeah, that's the that's the um, space side. Space sides, Highland Mall. Down there, the Cam Cambridge or something. Cameron mm -hmm. Cameron Bridge. Mm. Anyway, they Low put more greens. of it in there, obviously. Yeah. Beautifully ba balanced luxury blend. So, yeah, it's it's very smooth. The peat in there is forward. That was the first thing I tasted. Really? Yeah. The I mean, first thing I tasted was the peat. I get it after. I get a caramel, fruity sweetness right in the beginning, and then, then it goes to peat pretty quickly. Ooh. And then it lingers. Yeah, there's some caramel. You know what I got? When I was taking a drink, I got the smell of it, and I got a little bit of like a celery smell, like an earthy smell. Huh. I could see the earthy smell, yeah. For some reason, it hit me like celery. Mm hmm You know how celery tastes? Yeah. That. Like dirt. Mm-hmm. Which. But in a good way. Given the fact that, you know, it's peat that they use to dry the malted barley that's dominant in a yeah. lot of it. That would make sense. You have that earthy characteristic, a little bit of that brine, the smoky peat, <clears throat> sea salt. I get a little bit of fruit, some honey. Yeah, I get that. I get strong honey smell in the nose. Yeah, me too. It's good. It's different than the green. Mm -hmm, it is for entirely sure. different, which is amazing how the Johnny Walker blends can be so different from your red, black. Double black and black are very similar. Yeah. But it seems like the black has more more punch, more depth. I, I don't know. The, maybe the black that peat, or the double black? The double black. Yeah, the double black for sure. has more peat. It's just in your face a lot more. And mm -hmm. then you jump to the green, a 15-year, and then all the way up to the blue. How different they are. And they're yeah. all just blended whiskeys. But it's what blends mm -hmm. they put in there to build that character that you're tasting. It's a good whiskey. It is good. Price is decent for a blend. I know there's uh, a lot of people don't want to spend a lot of money out there for your blended whiskeys. They'd rather have that single malt um, scotch or your single barrel bourbons because you're going to pay comparable prices. But there is a lot of quality that goes into blends. And it's really it's good. It is. It's exceptional. Yeah, I was one of those for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking any blends. That's right. Basically, like cheating. I thought, but right. It's, it's like ah, they just throw a bunch of stuff yeah. together and come up. They with throw some a bunch of good stuff together, and it's really good. <laughs> That's a nice whiskey. That is good. It's well balanced. Mm -hmm. I would totally recommend that. Mm -hmm. Price is decent. Availability. In our area, it There's isn't a few bottles. A few bottles yeah. yeah, so it's not readily available. 
But in your area, maybe it is. Yeah, I think it typically is. It is, yeah. I don't think it's a rare one by any means. Yeah, because we, <clears throat> we're trying to not do as many very rare whiskeys that you cannot get because it's a bummer. Who of you out there wants to watch a review of a whiskey you're never going to freaking get? I wouldn't. All the I, time. I would. Not all the time, but... Uh, but occasionally, you watch one, you're like, oh, that's awesome. I get to see a review of it because it's a unicorn. You never see it, but um, we're trying to gear stuff so that you can... It's available. You guys can get it out there, and, and then before you spend your hard-earned money, watch a review of it and go, yeah, I think that's worth money, spending money on it. Yeah. This, I'd, I'd say this one is for sure. I'm curious. Add some water. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. There's a little hole right yeah, there. Yeah, you want you, to plug that. If you use it, it helps. correctly. Oh, or a little if shaky. You... You missed your glass. <laughs> I did. Uh, Would you like some water? No, I'm good. No? Yeah. I don't like to add water to ones that are 80 proof. Low proof. Yeah. yeah. God, oh, man, it totally changed the characteristic. Oh, my gosh, whole different way. It's like a red wine. <laughs> no. Really? It How much lightened red wine it, do you but drink? <laughs> that piece is pretty much zero. It actually made the fruit more Please forward, smell. much more forward on the fruit. Yeah, almost the sweetness too. Mm -hmm. Just yakking on a bone. <clears throat> That was a rather large swallow I took there. <laughs> so go big or go home, dude. That's so good and warming. Did you feel it <laughs> going down? Um, so many jokes right now. Right <laughs> my head. Adding water brought out, for me, brought out the fruit. It lessened the peat. Definitely lessened the 80 proof. Lessened the peat. Le yeah. It lessened the 80 proof alcohol, so it dropped a little bit more. Made it very palatable. I swallowed a rather large gulp, and it didn't burn at all. It was smooth going down. It still keeps that lingering, oily finish. And there's a little peat in the background of that finish, even with the water. <clears throat> but it's not at the front like it was before. The fruits in the front with the water. I think it's a good. It's a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. If you sit and let it age, uh, open up a yeah. little bit, it might. Some of the alcohol is going to dissipate, so that changes the flavors as well. Um, I think Josh and I both agree. Um, it's nice to let your if you're having a dram and you're enjoying it. It's nice to let it sit and open up a little bit, and not shoot it. Drink it real quick. Just, just sit. sit. Yeah, just sit. <laughs> Yeah, don't take a big giant gulp, but and let them uh, open up a little and and enjoy a conversation or sh shooting the bull or whatever you're talking about Bet politics or whatever. Yeah, betting on some horses, and then come back to it a little <clears throat> bit later. Um, you'd be amazed at how much the the uh, palate will change or how much the flavor will change from just a little bit of time, 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes for the better, and sometimes mm -hmm. not. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes it is for the better and sometimes it is not. You dissipate too much of the alcohol and it just kind of loses its uh, characteristics. The dogs agree. They do. <laughs> so, <laughs> recommended. I would give it a thumbs up. I'd recommend it. It's yeah. a good whiskey. Heck yeah. Um, we hardly have any whiskeys those of you that watch us we don't really give bad reviews it's pretty rare yeah because we like most of it we do we're not super picky yeah but we do know what we like and what we don't like there's been a couple where we didn't <sighs> there has been a few that you can usually good. tell if i'm taking deep breaths or something or gritting my teeth that i'm like <laughs> yeah you can usually tell those of you that have watched a bit you can tell if it's good or bad but yeah, this is a good whiskey. Price yeah. is decent. Yep. It's available. Um, Johnny Walker, great products, consistent products. Um, remember out there, like and subscribe. We're working on t-shirts, designs, 
trying to get stuff out there. So uh, when we hit certain mile markers on um, subscriber counts, we'll try and put together a uh, like a gift or something like that. Maybe go out to some people. That'd be kind of cool. What yeah. do you think? You hit a certain thing. As long as you pay for it. Do a questionnaire or something, and they hit the right question, and you're like, boom, here's a T-shirt or something. I yeah. think it'd be cool. So that's stuff that we got in the works. Good whiskey. Enjoy everyone out there. We hope you're having a dram with us. As always, enjoy your whiskey or bourbons. Any, Any way you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.